Let's have a look at the next question, which is for the time, speed, and distance. Slightly easy question. It says Meera and Amal walk along a circular track, starting from the same point at the same time. So they are walking either on the same side or on the opposite side. If they walk in the same direction, then they meet in 45 minutes. I repeat, when they walk in the same direction, then in 45 minutes, Amal completes exactly three more rounds than Meera. The difference between both the rounds completed by Amal and Meera will be three. If they walk in the opposite direction, then they meet for the first time in three minutes. The second instance is more clear. It's clear that they meet for the first time after three minutes. The first instance is slightly bit more confusing. They are saying in 45 minutes, Amal completes three more rounds than Meera. Now the scene is when two guys are moving in the same direction. I repeat, when two people are moving in the same direction, when the difference between the lap covered by both of them is one, then they meet for the first time. Which means if the distance of the difference between the laps covered by Amal and Meera is three, then here they are meeting for the third time. So the logic is in 45 minutes, they are meeting for the third time. So in 15 minutes, they will meet for the first time. That's the only logic. You've got to convert uh, the difference into this meeting point. Whatever the number of gap is, that many times meeting will happen when they move in the same direction. So in 45 minutes, if they meet for the third time, I repeat, if in 45 minutes they meet for the third time, then certainly in 15 minutes, they meet for the first time when both of them are going in the same direction when both of them are going in the same direction it's going to be the, the relative speed will be x minus y and they meet in three minutes for the first time when they go in the same direction which is x plus y now you know distance will be exactly same whatever the distance of the circumference would be what is d so if i divide d by x minus y i'll get a time my time here will be 15 upon 60 and d divided by x plus y should basically be 3 upon 60 will be 3 upon 60 if i have to solve them dd will get cancelled so certainly you can say x minus y will be 60 upon 15 which will be 4 and x plus y will be 60 upon 3 which will be 20 will be 20 but who among them is faster now it says amal completes exactly three more rounds than mira in the given time which means Certainly, Amal is x and then Mira would be y. If you solve them, x minus y is 4, x plus y is 20, you will get x as 12 and y as 8. x, we defined it's Amal and y is basically Mira. Now, the difference between both of them speed will be 8, 12 minus 8, which will be 4. Now, the question is in how many rounds Mira walks in one hour, in 60 minutes. You want to see the number of laps Mira is doing. For that, I need to find the distance also. Now, it has been given to you that D upon X minus Y is basically 15 upon 16. Let's keep D as D itself. X minus Y will be 4. And this value will be 15 upon 16. So, 4 getting multiplied here, you will get D as basically 1. Which means the overall circumference is only for 1 kilometer. I repeat, the overall circumference is only and only for one kilometer. And Mira, on the other hand, is moving at what speed? Mira is moving at a speed of 8 kmph. So my question is, if the circumference is of one kilometer, and if Mira is moving at a speed of 8 kmph, how many laps Mira would be able to make in one hour? Exactly, the answer would be, as what you have in mind, will be eight times. So the number of laps covered by Mira will be 8 laps in 1 hour. I hope all of you are clear with the answer.